Yo, yo, what up, though? Welcome back to the channel. It's your boy, Shree Coder Nate. And I heard y'all want to learn how to land a job at a top tech company like Microsoft. So I'm giving y'all this video today. I'm going to tell y'all my little journey real quick on how I landed my job at Microsoft. And honestly, it wasn't just a easy walk in the park on how you... Okay, I don't think anybody thinks getting a job at Microsoft is a walk in the park. But... No, it was some real thing, like shit. I think I interviewed three times. I interviewed uh, three separate times. Like my first time I didn't get it, second time I didn't get it, and then third time I got the hoe. So like, let me tell you about this journey. So first time I went through the interview process, you know, I'm thinking, you know what, I do a couple practice problems on lead code the night before. I went to the University of Michigan. I already worked at uh, Citibank and I'm doing my own thing. I think I'm good enough to just do it this way. Well, when I got to the interview, I kind of got like frozen up at, uh, oh, actually, thinking of the Google one. No, so I got past the first round interview. And so the first round interview was, <clears throat> it wasn't that bad, honestly. Uh, the first round interview was behavioral and they asked you some like logic stuff. And then you go to the second round interview and second round interview is just one coding question. You get uh, asked a coded question, you got to code it up real quick and then you talk to the person. I passed that part too. It was the third round, it was this final round that really got me, which was a four day uh, coding question. So, or four part coding question. So uh, for this interview it was four hours and each hour or each hour was broken down like this, 45 minutes of interview 15 minutes of break and in the 45 minutes of interview it was a coding question and so i had four of those sessions in a row and by the time i got to like the second session the third session i was burnt out i was done for i was like man it's a workout but i kept going obviously came around didn't get it i already knew but i had a great recruiter though Stephanie, uh, she was just dope. Uh, I'm gonna show you her LinkedIn, maybe by the time I get done. But she was dope. Uh, and so uh, she stayed with me and she told me about another interview day. And so that interview day came around, but actually I did not fail it. I just said I wasn't ready for it actually. So that was, I guess, I guess that was the second one. I guess I ain't fail it. I just wasn't ready for it on the second one. So the third one came around, that was back in January. And I said, all right, look, I ain't about to fail this whole nor I'm not, not about to uh, miss it. So I needed to get right. So what did I end up doing? I put myself through a little training. So I ended up grabbing uh, Cracking the Coding interview. Uh, I got the book. Let me I can go grab it real quick. All right. Cracking the Coding interview. Can't even see it because of the blue or uh, green background. That's wild. Uh, Cause it's green screen. All right, so yeah, well, I got code, cracking the code and interview. Did all that running for nothing, but cracking the code and interview. That was a. Uh, this is a great book. So what did I do? Um, I didn't read this entire book. Let me see, y'all. Cause probably see the white. Yeah, I didn't read this in, uh, entire book. Hell no. So what this book has inside of it is uh, some great things. Um, and so what I did was I went to the. I went to the index. So going inside the index, you will see it, it broke it broke it down. Uh, or the, not the index, the table of contents, and you got the introduction. And so in the introduction, it says the interview process, behind the scenes, special situations before the interview, behavioral questions, big O, technical. Uh, oh wait, yeah, this all is in the introduction, right? Technical questions, the offer beyond data structures. And then it finally gets to chapter two. Yeah, so then knowledge base, all of that. It's a lot in here. So what did I end up doing? I said, you know what? I'm gonna go ahead and tackle that whole like introduction, whereas uh, the interview process, behind the scenes, special situations, before the interview, behavioral questions, big O notations, technical questions, the offer and beyond, interview questions. So the interview questions, these started like data structures and algorithms and whatnot. And so I didn't um, go all the way through the interview questions just yet. Uh, I went through, so I, that's what I went through first. I, I started my first two weeks. I just was like, 
all right, I'm just going to hit these, hit this, uh, what the interview process, getting down the interview process, what it really was, taking my time to really do it. When you about to uh, interview, shoot, before you, if you know you about to interview in about a month or two, just start reading just slowly like uh, take your time and read it slowly and process what's really going on don't wait to the last minute that was my fault at the first one and low-key the second one that's why i wasn't ready and so the interview process i went through internalized that um behind the scenes so i was interviewing for google and microsoft and amazon so i was like here you say that it says the Microsoft interview, the Amazon interview, the Google interview. So it'll tell you specific things about those interviews that was very beneficial for me, for real, for real. I ain't gonna lie. So then you got special situations. Um, I kind of, I think I skipped that part. Yep, I skipped special situations before the interview. So getting the right experience, writing a great resume, preparation map. I skipped that as well. Uh, no, I kept the preparation map. I went to the preparation map because it showed me like pretty much how to like idealize uh, the preparation. So then it got the behavioral questions. I kind of skipped that. I'm a people person, not really need that. Uh, and then big O. So um, big O, I didn't really spend too much time on because I do know time complexity and big O complexity well. And so that's what you got to do as you're going through these table of contents. You just got to start thinking, okay, do I know this well? Do I not know this well? And when you say I don't, you just start pausing. You pause and you take your time there. For the things you do know, you just gloss over it, refresh. It's a refresher. That's what it is. Okay, so and that's what I was doing with the big O. So we have to go through um, the complex time complexity, space complexity, uh, drop uh drop the constants all of that stuff and then we finally got to like uh technical questions and like how to op uh, how to structure talking to tech uh how to structure taking a technical question and that was real beneficial like they say optimize and solve technique um look for the bud optimize and solve technique diy uh do it yourself optimize and solve technique simplify and generalize optimize and solve technique base case and build optimize and solve uh solve technique data uh data structure brainstorm so it was giving me just different techniques to really practice uh to practice using as i was going through the problems in the book and i was like oh i like this one i like that one i like that one and i pretty much got to configure my own little testing suite if you will <laughs> and so that i can get through the testing and so uh also went through let's see the offer and beyond skip that part and then it finally got into uh some real shit with the data structures and so after i took my time to get through the beginning part and really internalize just the overall structure of the interview i said bet okay i got the structure down took some notes on the structure i was ready to jump in so now the next few chapters break down data structures and data structures are very big for um computer science interviews so data structures what do you need to know for data structures let's tap in in the first chapter you got arrays and strings so what i do i just went through went through the arrays and strings chapter is only like two to three pages each chapter of like text and like theory that explains the data structure the rest of the chapter is just examples of questions and it will walk you through how to uh, do the examples. So that's what I did for each chapter. We had arrays and strings, did that one day or a couple days. Then I paused, took a little break, then focused on linked lists, did, uh, did a couple of those questions, paused for a couple days, stacks and queues, same thing there, trees and graphs, same thing there. Then we got to uh, concepts and algorithms. So we went from data structures and now we get into algorithms, how to make code efficient. And so we talked about bit manipulation, uh, understanding like zeros and ones, how to add them and all of that other stuff, math, logic and puzzles. Uh, I ain't really go too hard into that, but I did know that probability and prime numbers and stuff like that are things that I kind of struggle with. So I went in there and kind of uh, tapped in with that, which was very beneficial when I had my interview uh object oriented design i ain't really need that i feel like i'm a really good object oriented designer but i did gloss over it just to make sure um recursion and dynamic programming i should have spent more time there with my google interview it was all recursion i didn't get no question that wasn't recursion okay uh system design and scalability i think I did a little of that sorting and searching did a lot of that um 
and then skip that okay and then they got into knowledge base so then i did i focused on the knowledge base so this is where they talking about specifically like a language and so i just focused on the c plus plus language but you can focus on whatever language you want to c plus plus because i did it so much in uh school and whatnot and then uh after that they just got the rest of the book this thick ass book the rest of it like i want to say questions yeah the questions start here so the rest of the book is like this part of the book is all questions so i went through this part of the book uh the text and and looking at practice problems and stuff and then after i got all of the knowledge from uh like linked lists and all that other stuff like that what did i end up doing you might have thought that i was going to probably go through the rest of the book and start doing the problems wrong instead i went to leak code because leak code is that shit. you need to check out leak code if you haven't let me try to sign in see if my stuff is still authenticated with is it github no it's probably google uh let's go here all right cool 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 yep so when i i went here to leak code and so what is leak code leak code is dope it's just a it's a website full of uh coding questions from coding companies and so you can really just uh you can search up the company for me like you can see all mine i was doing interview stuff so i was uh checking out the interview tab let me see i got seven notifications bi-weekly contest i should have come back here and start doing contests but okay yeah so let's check out the interview tab you click on the interview tab or let's go to explore Good. My shit tripping. All right, there we go. This is better. So in the Explore tab, you'll see that we got the interviews right here. We got the interviews, and the first interview you see Google interview. So basically, and you see all the statistics. Why am I doing all that? I could just go right here. So then you got the uh, all the statistics right there, which is uh, nine nine chapters, uh, eighty five nine chapters, eighty five items uh some other stuff locked you even got the facebook one you got the microsoft one and so i went through the microsoft one i don't think this is the account i have mine on but yeah i went through the microsoft one i did a bunch of the uh went through the chapters and stuff and it will lead you literally through what you need to do so i went and got that basic knowledge refreshed my knowledge with cracking a coding interview uh with data structures and algorithms and then i just let lee code kind of lead me but i mean some days i didn't really feel like getting led so i found a couple problems i started with the easy problems got really good at the easy problems then i started um doing um what's that called when you mock interviews so i had my unc he started calling me and he would uh he would interview me and i would he would get the question he don't even know how to code but he would get the question and he'd be asking i show him the answer I'd be like don't tell me about the answer but he was so smart he would be able to understand the answer in terms and i well, as i'll explain it he'd be able to give me hints and stuff and that really helped so what help getting that knowledge down like i t always say like when you learn in 20 percent of it is getting that knowledge down that's where it was at getting that knowledge but where most of the practice or most of the uh the, the knowledge stuck was when i started practicing on lead code doing the practice problems in the book and then definitely actually engaging myself in an interviewing session uh practice interview session and i'm telling y'all like each time we finish it'd be like okay this is what you did good this is where you did that this is what you need to work on by the time that we finished the whole like every time we got done interviewing we finally compiled up a, a, a way like it was like seven steps that i was just following i had them pasted up um on my uh oh actually no i had them on my ipad as I was doing my interview, uh, interview the third time at Microsoft, and I was just told him like, y'all got my iPad up, and so I had my little notes there that was like, okay, say this, uh, or like uh, step one is say this at the, in the inter when the interviewer comes, and I would say that, get a smile, and I'd be like, okay, I got the smile, moving on to the next step, and I'd be like, all right, now say this, and be like, okay, third step it says says uh, say you're gonna do the brute force. Fourth step says, so you're going to optimize it. Fifth step says, you're going to do some testing. And like, I was just following these steps. And I had them just written down. And each of the four interviews back to back that I had was just like, it was, it was like flawless. And like, it was, it was amazing. Like compared to the first one and then my Google one, I was just like, yo, man, like it was simple. What all I had to do was just 
practice a little bit. And so for real, for real, how to get the interview at Microsoft is go get the knowledge, go get the knowledge. Don't take forever getting the knowledge. Don't rush yourself either. However you like to learn. For me, I did it relaxed. I had some time and I was also running a business. So I couldn't really just say I got to get this knowledge right now. I was I had to do it over a time period. But there are people who can just go get that knowledge real quick and then just go practice. Practice as much as you can. Don't actually stop like focus so much on the knowledge. Go practice. Like the knowledge going to come through the practice is the practice that keeps the knowledge like there like honestly my interview prep really just catapult me further in my my career as a developer for real because now I just keep doing the same things that I was doing as I was practicing these 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 questions because these questions really test the basis of computer science for real for real so how to get that job there you go Follow those steps and you will definitely land you a job at Microsoft or any other big top tech company right here. As you can see, Microsoft, Facebook, Google, Amazon, uh, Apple, Apple Dream. Don't tell them that, though. But, yeah, I'm going to let y'all go. I'm out of here. Peace.